Let's talk about Mark Hamill for a second. Mark Hamill's one of those Hollywood lefties who has what I call big time TDS. Now, depending on what side of the aisle you fall on, you either agree with everything he says or you don't. And I'm not saying Mark doesn't have a right to his opinion. Everybody has a right to their opinion. Everybody has a right to post what they, what they feel, what they think on a platform such as X. But it doesn't keep those of us who happen to disagree with Mark Hamill from roasting him and calling him out when he posts something that is blatantly disinformation. So before I get into this video, folks, just want to say thank you to the 17,000 plus subscribers that I have here on YouTube and the 50 some odd I have over on Rumble. And if you get a chance, get a moment, check out some of my content. If you like what I'm doing, the best way to support me is to hit that subscribe button, like my videos, and uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any. Now with that, let's get on with the show. So Mark Hamill, like I said in my intro, depending on what side of the aisle you fall on, you either love him or you hate him. And he has a history of poking and prodding and needling, especially poking and prodding and needling former President Donald Trump. Now, I got no problem with him poking and prodding and needling. I got no problem with him posting his opinion. But when he puts out something that is blatant disinformation, you got to call it out. And just as an example here, um, let's see, let's go down here. Uh, da, 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 there's one here that, like this one here, first appearance of a ludic ludicrously oversized ear bandage, apparently not needed prior to tonight. Well, Mark, he was, he was shot in the ear. How do you know what size bandage was needed? Do you know how much of his ear is missing? No, you don't. Or this one. This was a cover of the New Yorker. With fear for our democracy, I puke. It's because he doesn't like the six conservative justices on the Supreme Court. Um, but that's not what this video is really about. What this video is really about is this. Mark Hamill posted this image from the GOP convention uh, Monday night. And says, for once, I'm with him. Hashtag GOP snooze fest. <laughs> Claiming that President Trump, or former President Trump, was asleep. Clearly, that's not the case. In fact, Gina Carano decides, and she's been doing this a lot lately, and good for her, pointing out the double standard that we have in entertainment, media, so on and so forth. She put out this post. It's called Praying, Mark. Trump was closing his eyes in prayer. The man was just shot a few days ago, almost losing his life, and another man took that bullet and died protecting his family. What happened to all that talk about not spreading misinformation and disinformation? Just doesn't count when you do it, huh? Rules for thee, not for me? How about that white Democrat male privilege treating you? Been fired from any jobs recently? It really makes you wonder what the deep state has on you for you to have your head so permanently jammed up their ass to where all you've become is their walking, talking piece of dung. Have you enjoyed all your political free speech and Hitler analogs without any repercussions the past eight years? Don't worry. We have them all saved. Strange you weren't canceled or called out for any of it. I wonder if that 
time is fast approaching for you. Have a good nap. Now, I'm not going to get into all the things that happened to Gina. Most, most everybody knows what happened to Gina back in 2020, 2021, where she was terminated from Disney Lucasfilm, The Mandalorian, for a post that was misconstrued. All she's doing here again is pointing out the double standard as it applies to her versus uh, other individuals that have, have had or continued to work for Disney, whether it be Marvel or Lucasfilm. And part of the reason why I started doing this a while ago year and a half ago is that I got tired of the misinformation, disinformation, the, the downfall in entertainment. And so I decided to put myself out there, speak, speak, you know, let my voice be heard. And I appreciate all of you that, that, uh, take time out of your day to watch my content. And some of you may agree with me. Great. Some of you may disagree with me. That's great too. But I just have to applaud Gina for not holding back here and calling out Mark for his blatant misinformation. So there you go. That's all I got. I just wanted to point this out. Again, the double standard as it applies to uh, Gina Carano versus some of her male counterparts as it as they work for either Marvel or Lucasfilm under the Disney umbrella. So what do you think about this? Comment down below. Tell me what you think about Gina calling out Mark Hamill. And it ought to be really interesting here when they show up at a at a con together. Uh because I'm sure it's gonna happen fairly soon. Where they're gonna be in the same convention space. Um that ought to be a that ought to be a sight. Wish I could be there. Uh, while you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Share this video out there with your friends and family. And with that, I will catch you guys later.